So, for the past month, I took my camera out every day. Took video. Come on, Coco. And then uploaded video to Wirestock. This is what happened. yesterday. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to say that I pulled my neck doing something epic and heroic, but it was a sneeze. <laughs> I told myself I was gonna make a monthly video of the wire stock updates for myself and you guys, and then I also told these guys that we could go see Omi and Opie today, so... So I gave up on stock a long time ago, but after watching earlier this year Matty Hapoya's video about what he brought in last year with stock, and then directly after I found wire stock, I thought I'm going to give wire stock a try. And I uploaded 100 clips and it was so easy to upload those clips and less time consuming, I decided I'm going to give this a go really hard, give it my all for three years. I committed myself to filming something every day and uploading every day. We're now in the second month and the first month's results are out. So I thought I'm gonna share with you every month and see the progress, uh, see whether or not if stock is something you wanna get into or if you should be looking at the wire stock platform or not. Come on, Coach. Tell Omi and Opie what you're doing next week. What are you doing next what week? What are you doing next week? Where are you going next week? School? You're going to big boy school, right? What are you making, Opie? Blueberry As of the last day of the month in August, I had submitted 137 easy submissions. Cody! This way and then that way. And back again. You gotta go hard. Ready? Ready? We're going opposite directions. <laughs> <laughs> I still have 191 to submit. I'm in review 138, not accepted three, and accepted 131. So what does that all translate to? Seven dollars and one cent. Hold on Coco. So five dollars of that seven was my five dollar bonus that I got from uploading my first few clips. And then two dollars and one cents was from two sales of one image that I uploaded out of the hundred uploads I did before this last month. So. I didn't actually sell anything from my first month. What you can expect is probably that, especially if you're using the easy uploader button, at least on the free version. And the reason why I say that 
on the free version, they pro they don't prolong. They just take their time getting to your submissions. So I literally went the entire month and nothing was actually evaluated. So at this point, I can't really say what kind of outcome you can expect out of Wirestock. I can say from my past dabbling in stock at different platforms with only three or 400 assets, you really can't expect any sales. I did say before in the last video that I do plan on actually paying for the upgraded version um, because there's so many awesome benefits you get as well as they promise that your easy uploader will um, will be processed within 48 hours. So that's, that's a way better turnaround time than over a month. Um, but I'm gonna stick to this for a little while just to see what kind of outcome we can get after say like four, four to six months of the free version. And then we can kind of compare that to how it works after I start paying for it and get your quicker submissions. Hey, why is this guy talking to a camera? Play it. Hey, do you guys remember playing this game when you were a kid? When I was a kid, it was Hungry Hungry Hippos though. Was it turtles when you were a kid? Or was it hippos? I just wanna say, Hats off to you hydroponic um, vegetable grower YouTubers. I've learned a lot from you guys. Cheers. Eventually there is a chance that some of those shots can sell and it's all about numbers. Think about 300 shots every month for 12 months. Think of it almost like catching fish. The bigger the net you have, the more fish you catch. One of my favorite artists at the beginning of COVID, you know, the guy sells world-class workshops and people pay good money for that type of stuff. But when COVID hit, that stopped for him. And his big thing in one of the Q&A videos he did, he mentioned that he wished he had to spend more time doing residual income work like YouTube. Now I doubt he's gonna go ahead and put his world-class landscapes um, on stock because he will be devaluing his work but that doesn't mean that he doesn't have video or other usable stuff to put up on stock so I'd be interested to know if he actually does this but regardless that's the important thing and what did I learn from my first month I didn't really learn much because we didn't see any results other than I do know it takes a long time for the um, easy submission button to work if you are not paying for your subscription. Over the next month and the next couple months, um, I do have a plan to maybe be a little more reserved on what I'm uploading or what I'm shooting and then try and spend a little more time in my day uploading the clips. I would like to get that 300 closer to 500 a month. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in next month's update and make sure to check out next week's video. Peace.